remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. With over 60 houses and several acres of land lost to coastal erosion in the last one year, these have become very trying times for members of a Bogoro community in Yanagua local government area of Bios State. Consequently, the Stroud residents of Obogoro are demanding an immediate intervention by the Bielsa State Government to save the community from imminent extinction. Correspondent Chika Abudozie tells us more. About a fortnight ago, no fewer than seven residential buildings in Obogoro community were submerged in the fast encroaching Ikoli River, which is a tributary of the River Non. This unfortunate incident has been a recurring experience as the community has in the last one year lost over 60 buildings, including a primary school and a town square to coastal erosion. Over the years, the mouth of the Ikoli River has expanded significantly, thereby encroaching on living spaces in the community on account of excessive siltation. For this endangered community, the untold loss it has incurred over time is not what it can afford to bear any longer. In 2019, we held election in the primary school, St. John's Primary School. Today, the whole building of St. John Primary School and with the football fish, there is nowhere to be found. The Coppers Lodge, staff quarters, everything has been rotted away. Rotted away. You, you, from there too, we have a major street. You don't have anything to show. After several appeals to agencies of the federal and state governments to save Ogboguru community from this calamity, Bayelsa State Governor Doye Diri reportedly visited the area earlier in the year and directed the State Ministry of Environment to address the situation. He mentioned immediately, directed Ministry of Works and Ministry of Environment to swing into action by trying to reclaim the land for us. But it, yes, till now as I'm talking to you, nothing has been done. The Environmental Rights Action submitted a letter officially through the Commissioner for Environment in 2018 to the Governor, suggesting shoreline protection, which if they cannot do alone, they can also use their own vantage position to liaise with the Ecological Fund Office, the NDDC, and other international and national development partners. But it is most regrettable that nothing has been done. In a period of about 10 years, Scores of households in Ogboguru community have been rendered homeless and dislocated from their livelihoods. The administrative neglect suffered by Ogboguru community, which is just about five minutes' drive from the Bayosa State Government House in Yenegua, is so telling that the people are beginning to wonder if they are still a part of Bayosa State. Every day they invite us, every day they invite us, rather than the car and do drama, me and no know. So now, today on, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, government, please come and help the Bogoro community. We are finishing. For fear of being caught unawares when the rains peak by September this year, some property owners living closest to the mouth of the Ikoli River have decided to deroof their homes and remove other valuables they may need to start life afresh. This is indeed an agonizing experience and a wake-up call to the BIOS state government and other relevant agencies of the federal government to act swiftly and save Ogboguru community from going into extinction in a matter of years. Inside the Niger Delta, 